my new case, the Cunningham murder. Cunningham. Where is he? John Cunningham, six foot, one hundred eighty pounds, and he graduated from UC Berkeley. No criminal records on this part. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what we got? Cunningham murder. John Cunningham. Where's he murdered? Downtown in the creek. Let's go then. All right. Get your gun. used for the death. We have his shoes, size 12 men's. His head was just totally ripped off. Not even the neck was there. Mm -hmm. We don't. We, we haven't found the head yet. We sent a couple more dispatches on it. We can't even find it. And then we got place of death over at the creek by downtown. And then time of death is unknown. So let's get that. Uh, follow a couple leads. Talk to you later. Alright. Hey Aaron, so what do we got? Alright. The captain just came in showed me some leads in crime. We have this baseball bat and um has Louisville a couple, slugger? Yeah. Has a couple of stains on it. The victim's shoes were a size twelve men's and um um head's was, completely gone. Yeah, yeah. And um uh the um uh, we should look in the files and see if anybody has used a baseball bat in a murder before. And, and no one knows the time of death? Yeah, yeah. That's the one thing we should figure out, too. So Wait, I forgot something. The knife. Okay. He said that they used this, and there's stab wounds on him. Okay. A little blood. Looks like... That's a big knife, so... That's definitely got... To do a lot of damage, so yeah. So yeah, let's just check the records and see if somebody has used a baseball bat for a murder before. So. And tomorrow morning we can go down to the creek and find any more evidence. Like, clues. Yeah, yeah. Maybe someone dropped something. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, I just forgot that at the murder scene I found the knife. That was used for the stab wounds. Yeah. Yeah. And tomorrow we are going down to the creek downtown again to find some more clues and evidence. What about his head? What are we going to do about his head? Are we going to find that? Or? If we can. I mean, his head was completely severed. I don't know if this was the exact knife that you use it. It would be pretty tough to cut off a head with this. But yeah. I don't know exactly what's gonna, what we're going to do. So we got the bat. We got the shoes. Head's completely gone. I think that once we find the head, we can probably find a lead toward... Who is the murderer? Yeah. We could ask some, you know, there's houses up there near the creek, so maybe we could, like, ask anyone that might have been the time of death. Well, Aaron did say that he is going to go into the files to find anybody who's ever used a murder weapon as a bat. That would probably, if we can narrow it down to at least ten people, I think we can find a murderer. Yeah. Chief. Yeah. Got something. You got the file? Yeah, it turns out someone named Dylan Snow was used a bat in two murders, but he had the charges, but he wasn't proven guilty. So. The jury's these days. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to find him. He was on Rosewood Avenue. That's right by the murder place. Yeah. Let's go get him. All right.
Okay. We're going to tell Caitlin about this first. Okay. Pretty nice car. Yeah. Guy must have had a pretty good salary. You can see the guns right here. And there's a... There's a gun on the floor bed. Let me check it out. Yeah. yeah. Can I see it? Be careful with it. It's a pretty nice gun again. Do you know his salary? Do you know his job? What do you even do? I think he was an engineer. Engineer. Let me check. Probably for Frontier. ASCK. He said his hometown is San Diego. And he moved here in about... 1937. Let me check out the rest of the car. Okay. Definitely signs of struggle throughout the car. You can see blood splatter throughout the mirrors. Are there any bullet shells in there? I don't see any. There's one right there. Where? Oh, really? Let's see. Oh. It's a shotgun shell. Why would a shotgun shell be in his car? Hmm. Maybe what he owned was a shotgun. Was the his murder in the first place? Was it this I or think, was it um, let me check. That was probably when he went disc shooting or whatever they call it. Oh, it says right here. Um, they said it was, I think, drunk driving. See if you can find any, like, drunk beer driving. bottles. Maybe he was, like, killed himself on that. There is a couple of beer bottles. The, the, um, hmm. the body and John Cunningham's head are in the um, autopsy room being evaluated for any other wounds. You know, causes think, of death. I think. He killed John, he cut off his head, he put his head in here for like a, a like a monument, so like a memento, because a lot of serial killers like to do that, yeah. and he was drunk while he killed him, he was drunk while he drove the car, he crashed the car, he was in fear that maybe he would get caught, and he killed himself, and maybe his shotgun was just, I don't know. From was, other kills. It was, I don't know. Yeah, look over these case notes, too. Wait a minute, when did you come to work this morning? 9.30. What did you do last night? What? What? Do you think you killed John? Aaron. Do you think you killed Dylan? Aaron, you don't think you killed anybody. Just put the gun out, please. Guess what? I did. Well, I'll have to arrest you then, because now you just, you just confess. What, what are you going to do now? Aaron, please put the gun down. No. Please put the gun down. No. Don't shoot us. Aaron. Guys! Aaron, you're under arrest for suspicion of killing John and Dylan. I'm sorry. This has to be this way. Get up. All right, Aaron. So there was a Louisville Slugger bat that was found with blood stains all over it. Obviously, you know, because you were there with me. How did you use that for her? We were coming home from playing baseball, and that was really the only weapon I really had on hand. So you did it. Yeah. You killed John, right on the spot, right in the middle of that little dip of the creek. And so his shoe size was 12. But how did Dylan think about this? Well, he was always on John's side, so I didn't trust him. I thought he would go and tell the police about this. But he didn't. So you both got in the car and you started driving. But what about the head? Well, where did John's head go? Was that, was that you? We cut it off and dumped it. You and Dylan? Why? Because you thought that maybe his identity would be held? Maybe hidden? Yeah. It was a stupid idea. It could be found in his wallet. You were there. What about the knife, the stab wounds? Did you have a knife on hand? Yeah. My was that like knife a... for protection. And what about, what about Dylan? How'd you kill him? We pulled over on the side of the road on our way back, and then um, I locked the car, and then I, I had an old shotgun from when we went hunting, pulled it out, and I shot Dylan. So you shot Dylan, and you killed John. So that closes right there. I'm sorry, man, but I have to accuse you right now of killing John Cunningham and Dylan Snow.